like basically taking your entire undergrad's worth of prereqs in one year, that's basically your first year of them. What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Since we finally got our second semester schedule, I figured I would make a video talking about what classes we're taking in our first year as a dental student at Boston University, as well as show you guys what a typical weekly schedule of a D1 student is here and just show you guys basically what your first year of dental school was like. Before we get into the content of the video, if you're new here, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We are literally inching towards a thousand subscribers, which is so exciting. I feel like it was not that many videos ago where I was just saying thank you for 600 subscribers. So thank you all who have been watching my videos and subscribing. Thank you for everyone that's been telling your friends about the channel, telling you know anyone that you feel like to subscribe to the channel it's really been helping also thank you to everyone that's been commenting on the videos i've noticed that the comments have started to pick up which is great because like i've mentioned in earlier videos it's really hard to just talk to the camera and see a number of subscribers but not really know who you're engaging with or who's watching your videos so i really love it when you guys comment under the videos it gives me someone to talk to helps me engage with my subscribers gives me feedback on the videos so i know what you guys are enjoying and what you're not what i should spend more time making videos about and what i should maybe not make videos about i don't know but Either way, it helps when you guys comment, so thank you so much for people that have been commenting under the videos. Lastly, before we get into the content of the video, um, as I'm approaching a thousand subscribers, I put this on my Instagram story, maybe like last week or so, but I want to do a Q&A for, you know, people that are maybe newer to the channel, that weren't here when, you know, I was just starting off, people that uh, follow me on YouTube but not on Instagram, um, that, you know don't really know too much about me people that do follow me on instagram that don't know much about me um people that just you know have general questions about dental school that they want to get answered so i wanted to give you guys a way to ask questions so if you have questions that you want me to answer in the q a video comment them under this video and yeah there will be a q a video coming soon also if you're an undergrad or grad school or whatever and you have some kind of pre-dental society at your school or anything like that. Spread the word about the channel because it helps. And I don't get paid to do this. I do this for you guys. This is to help you guys. So spread the word, please. Now let's get into the video. So I know you guys have probably heard about how hard medical school and dental school is or pharmacy school, whatever. I'm sure you guys have heard about, you know, the rigorous curriculum that is in professional school. And I'm sure that you guys have also heard this many times without actually seeing a schedule or a list of classes or anything like that. So I wanted to share with you guys the list of classes that we're taking in our first year at Boston University and also just show you an example of what a typical schedule is for the week. You know, give you guys access to some things that you may not have seen before. So I'm gonna put the schedule up here on the screen. That way you guys can look at the schedule as I read off to you guys what classes we're taking. So, as you guys can see from the schedule, some of the classes that we're taking are um, split up between first and second semester, which means you take part of it in the first semester, you take part of it in the second semester, or it may be a first semester class that runs into the second semester a little bit. Um, later on in the video, I'm gonna go into more detail about why that is. The way that Boston University scheduling is set up is, well, there isn't really anything set in stone. So you know how in college, you know, you have certain classes on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or Tuesdays and Thursdays. Here it's kind of just like, everyone takes classes together and everyone follows the same schedule. Sometimes you'll have the same class four days a week and then the next week you'll only have it two times. It, it all varies. But let's read off the list of the classes that I'm taking in my first year of dental school here and well, frankly, my whole class is taking because we all take classes together. So 
Um, another thing about Boston scheduling is that some classes are not necessarily from the beginning of the semester to the end of the semester. Um, the reason I figured I should mention that now is because the first class that's on the list is molecular genetics. And we take that class from October 18th to November 12th. And then the final is November 24th. So that class is only maybe like a month and a half or two months. Yeah, like actually like a month. That class is only like a month long. Um, and so as you can see here, uh, this list also has the weight, which means like the number of credits that the class is. So that genetics class is only two credits. Um, other classes that we're taking, Anatomical Science 1, also known as Anatomy. We take Anatomy 1 in the first semester, which is Histology and Neuroanatomy. And then in the second semester, we take Gross Anatomy, which is Anatomical Sciences 2 on this list. We're also taking Biochemistry, which is a class that we take in, in both the first and second semester. Taking Physiology, another class that's in first and second semester. Microbiology and Immunology general pathology, oral biology, oral radiology. That's another class that is not the full first semester, but we take it for like a month. So as you can see, uh, that class is only two credits. We're also taking a comprehensive preclinical general dentistry one, which is spread out throughout the whole year. That's uh, the class that Basically, we go to sim lab for it. We learn about different dental procedures and work on our hand skills starting as early as the first year. It's a great thing about BU. Professional ethics development. It's another class that's uh, a shorter time in the first semester. Uh, Evidence-based dentistry, dental anatomy, and then the clinical apex clerkship is like our summer externship where we spend eight weeks working in the dental office. So that's a list of all our classes. Now, if you added up 45 credits in one year compared to, I don't know how many credits you guys took in undergrad, but first semester of my freshman year, I took maybe 16 credits. And second semester, I think I took 13. So there you go. It's a, it's a little bit of an adjustment from undergrad. So now I wanna show you guys what a typical week for us, schedule-wise, looks like. Um, I'm just gonna pick a random week because honestly, our schedule changes every week. So there may not necessarily be like such thing as a typical week for students at BU, at least not in the first year. Um, but I'll show you guys what last week looked like. I usually look at the schedule in my phone, like on the phone calendar. Uh, because they have like a Google Calendar with our schedule and it's just easier to look at it that way. Last week during the weekdays, which was October 4th through 8th, um, Monday the 4th, we had class from 8.30 a.m. to 12 o'clock pretty much. Um, in the afternoon, we just had our exam review, which is uh, like, that's kind of like an optional thing where you can go and look at uh, the correct answers to the quiz for this class it was a quiz um and see you know where you messed up kind of help you uh kind of help you for the exam if it's a quiz review or help you for you know future exams in the class figuring out what to do better um tuesday the fifth we had a physiology exam at 8 a.m and then we didn't have class again until the afternoon from 12.30 to 4.20. Um, Wednesday, October 6th, we had our evidence-based dentistry lecture in the morning at 9.30. And we had class uh, at one o'clock and at 2.30. So our schedule is broken up a little bit uh, this week. Usually we'll have class um, <laughs> basically like eight to five. That's like a typical day for us. But sometimes, uh, just the way that the scheduling is, there will be random breaks in the middle of the day. Um, so as you can see, uh, for uh, October 7th, Thursday, we had class from 8.30 to 5. Um, that's like a typical day for us. Um, on, this, on Thursdays in the afternoons, we go to the sim lab. So our uh, 1 to 5 is just in the sim lab, working on our hand skills, doing something that was assigned by our professor 
recently we've been doing amalgam preps uh, and I think yeah last week was the last one that we were doing for a while Friday another 8 to 8 30 to 5 p.m. day anatomy physiology dental anatomy and professional ethics so typically you're looking at an 8 30 to 5 p.m. schedule uh, if you're not looking at that as a student at BU if you have breaks or if you get out early that is considered a lucky day and we do not take those for granted because it gives us extra study time so that's all I have for today's video I want to keep it short and sweet um, just kind of give you guys some content something that you know I would have found interesting as a pre-dent obviously I'm going to be making more videos but I do have to focus on school that's my main focus um, but I did forget about you guys. I definitely wanted to make a video so I can say thank you for 900 subscribers. Um, please spread the word so we can get to a thousand. And also, I wanted to make sure that the people that are subscribed to me on YouTube but don't follow me on Instagram, which you should do, have a chance to ask questions for me to answer in the Q&A video that I'm going to be doing very soon as I approach a thousand subscribers. So. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, make sure to follow me on my other social media because when I'm not on YouTube, I am still probably posting on Instagram. That's something that's much easier to do without much work. Um, and yeah, please spread the word. Please tell your friends that are in your pre-dental societies and stuff like that. If you have uh, GBMs or something that you're looking for a dental student to join a panel or come speak, then please reach out to me uh, on Instagram or through my email or whatever you, you know, whichever way you want to do it. Um, I'm more than happy to join those panels and talk to some pre-dental students. That's what this whole thing is about. Um, and yeah, so that's all I have for today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.